Hey there, me again. Uh, something a little bit different today. We've got uh, an email that a lot of people in the Department of Education received uh, about inactive teams environment will be disabled in seven days. That sounds pretty serious. And uh, you start to wonder, well, why did I get this email? And it says, your Microsoft Teams environment utilization and innovation has been inactive for an extended period. If it remains unused, it will be disabled in seven days and you'll no longer be able to access its resources such as apps, flows and chatbots. Now, I took a look at this and uh, I thought, well, that's pretty scary email. We um, don't want to go losing our teams. And um, I looked a little bit deeper and, and this particular team that it's talking about, utilization and innovation, is it something that we use all the time. It's not that it's unused. Um, and I happen to receive a few of these emails for different teams that I am the owner of. And one of them is uh, for this Teams for Yammer users. And that's a team that um, we just use here to test various um, chatbots, uh, bots, different apps for um, for Microsoft Teams just to see what they do and how they work and so on and so forth. And it's not really an important um, team that we have, but it's a, it's a team that we have that uses these add-ons. And um, to give you an example, here is um, something that we used an app, an app called Bulletins. And if you go launch that, it says, hey, I'm a Microsoft Power Platform. And if you went back and looked at that email, you would see that it came from Microsoft Power Platform. And what it's actually saying is that this aspect of this team is unused. And because you haven't been using it, we're going to disable it because it's actually taking up cloud resources um, for no purpose. Uh, you can see 554 days ago, 639 days ago was the last time we actually played with it. So it's fair enough that they want to disable it, but it would be really helpful if uh, Microsoft sent emails that were a little bit more clear in what they want to uh, advise their customers. So you're not going to lose the team. You're going to lose the component of the team that you've added that you're no longer using. So it's not something you need to be terribly scared about. Um, and you can restart the counter by simply going back into your team and going back into that app or that bot or that power platform um, tool, dataverse, database, power automate, power apps um, function that you've added to Teams and simply use it to re-enable and restart that count. Hope that helped and I will see you in the next video.